Hello everyone, Son of Beast here, and welcome to another Stanley Cup Playoffs of the second round on EA Sports. This is Game 2. We're about to start things off as the New York Rangers are rematching against the Carolina Hurricanes, the tough team in the first seed matchup in the second round. Since we see them last postseason, as the Rangers have already been struck down for the Carolina Hurricanes, this was very tough that no one has ever seen like this was a tough and breakaway chain like they're doing it before. But now, will they Karen Canes do it at the same time for last postseason or will the Rangers answer back in game two? Right now the commentary up for this next game I will have is me phone along with the commentating crews. We have across from here Light Frame and the center ice will be Silver Spoon. I'll be back with the three star players of the game and with that one, with the next game underway soon, we will have the Avalanche fighting against the Minnesota Wilds at XL Energy Center in Minnesota. All right, let's get started. Game two, ready to go. Take away, guys. It's game two at PNC Arena. Me phone here along with Life Rain, and this is the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Game two about to begin in North Carolina. Buck is dropped and we are underway. You're just starting groups as being as follows. We have his Mika advantage at. Front of right side, left side we have his Chris Kreider. Then it's Terrence Senko right towards the center. On the other side we have a Sebastian Ago. Then it's Kotemi right towards the back. Across on the right is Jarvis. And the starting goaltender is Igor Shesterkin. Then we have his Lion Lindgren and Adam Fox. Adam Fox was a liberation to go with the tape to tape feed. He knows what he does. The best thing about him, he was all over this place. Keeping an eyes in a setup and a good changeup. The other side right now we have is Frederick Anderson. Anderson was really a one of the better places in this offense. He knows he was going for to make that one a good choice. From a great last season, right of the postseason, they've done a one heckable run to beat against the other team. They're really a tough one to know it. And this was the one that they've never seen it like how Frederick Anderson did in a regular season. Sebastian Algo has a third eye ability as right at this instant, across in the back, he's looking for a third opponent to find an open pass right towards the offensive side. He can try to look for an open, clear look of the pass. Fox's take to take feed zone is putting up a nervous system of the game. He tried to make the pass out of it right diagonally. He finds a look at an open player to go for the offense and then try to take the win in order to get the goal released. Adam Fox and Sebastian Algo are the rough ones tonight. I'll be watching those two in between by Rangers and Hurricanes. Back to you all. Here's Kreider towards the right wing. As right now he passed to Fox and a great save made by Frederick Anderson. Algo rebounds the puck. Now he dishes over to Snetchikov. In the right, Svechikov pokes it away and Kreider takes it over to Kane. Kane along to the home home bench, visitor's bench. The Kenny will have it here. Blocks it away and it goes right around the net. Fox will deliver it from the outside. Over again to Kane. Kane goes down. Boom! The Kenny up. Sunny by Shusterkin. Well, it looks like that Adam Fox was able to do that one here. If he was knocked down, don't be a fence. Scores! Got Kennedy! His first goal in 13 goals in the playoffs. What a bang to start the run. And Turvainen with the assist. When you know that Turvainen was given over again to, to Kirk Kennedy, he got a great pass. Looking open, right, comfortable right towards the run to give it a good start. And with that one, as right now the Rangers wins the tip off, face off from Truba. Nick is over to Slavin. Slavin over again to Terravine it. Here's Kako. Blocked the shot. Rebound in front. And a stop made by Anderson. Nick is right towards the right wing. Over again to Slavin. Now Kemi has got the puck right towards the right. Goes bail down. And Lafreniere will have a puck inbound. Miller fires it. Saved by Anderson. 15-20 to go in the first period of the game. Got a great start for the Hurricanes. They have a 1-0. Oh. 
Now both players are set. Brought to the take the puck for a faceoff. And Goodrow will win the faceoff here. Moto shot. Stopped by Anderson with the save. Got a little bit hard on that one in the communication gear because Frederick Anderson was holding it right away. And that inbounding might be a tough one, and you know it. The officials are getting set. They're about to drop the puck in the offense zone. Now we have is Stahl winning the faceoff. The Hurricanes are back into the offense zone in the Rangers territory. Move around the middle, and that's stopped again by Sesterkin. Moto trying to battle for the loose puck. Miller towards the left wing. Trying to look for someone else and open. Look, Goodrow with the puck now over to VZ. VZ trying to work his way on the run. In the middle, stop shot. Play saved by Anderson. Pass over again. Martin Hook right towards the center and now in the offense zone. Over again to Fast. Block the shot. Martin Hook looking to rebound. That's saved off here by Shesterkin. Fast. Good save here. And defensive player comes off. And now on the other end, Moto fires it around the net. New York Rangers are back on the attack. VZ still swiping it over to scan the open room. Sketchy over to Martin Hook now into the offense zone. Goes around the net. Keandre Miller, get a little bumped out in between, physical contact, step on, in the middle, and it didn't stay deemed to get it right, it's off again, three times stopped by Igor Sesterkin, Igor Sesterkin got a little bit of heavy on the motion out there, and the puck goes out of play, that will be 12.22 to go in the first period. One of the biggest games successful as we all call for. It's the one of the better plays of this one, but they've done one. They've only won one Stanley Cup since 2005 and 6. But they're looking for another Stanley Cup to win it again. And right now, as you're being said, if Slavin and the team gets it right away, they may have a solution to find another uh, player in this offense to give it up another run. If they do, then they may have another way to keep on going. Well, in that case, we noticed that it really does turn out. All the other players are doing really well to keep his offenders alive, and they, they were already out there. Somehow, however, they really are getting a lot of a, a lot of a Bruce battle in between. The Storm and the Ranger Town, they were already getting things right away. The Hurricane Winds are putting up a lot of, lot of uh, pals in this game. We don't know who's the biggest rival, so it looks like the Washington Capitals could be a biggest rival team. Anderson has that saved here with only 10.38 to go. We'll hold the play inbounding nearing the mid-period. We have called this. Slavin has a, a shutdown offense to make the defense shut them down. He tries to make a better look at the angle. When he gets out in a lock cellar, he has that with a lot of room. Try to take the puck away without a goal. That was nowhere to be in here. Out of his own is a good way to keep him going. Chesterkin hold the puck here with 10.15 to go in the first period. Right now, they'll get the faceoff on its way. The other hand for Mika Zibanejad. He's got his magnetic ability to try to go with the puck and reaching out from it toward in between the offense and defense. When he has more room, he will try to deliver it. Sometimes he will deflect it into the net. Sometimes he will take the puck and then kick it to the... and then the play kick the puck right towards the, right towards the hockey stick and then try to reset it up here right towards the middle. Sometimes, he usually uses a stick right between, between the back and right towards it from the, from the middle, from the stick, keep it right in there as far as he goes. Officials are getting set here. They're about to face the puck off right towards the 9.32 left to remain in the first period. Ago will win the face off here. Snatchikov to Burns. Burns to Slavin. Slavin. Shot went wide and off the pad it goes. Adam Fox trying to deliver it for the rebounding. Over now Slavin. Yarvis with the puck. In the middle move. Two times stop here by Sisterkin. Kreider kicking the puck over to Fox. Fox with only the puck movement to, to Banachad. In his own entry, Zibanejad over Kreider, hit the face mask, and saved it again. 
He's really going to be out there and, and getting a lot of bruises from the, from the puck. He could be bleeding out there. It might be a little bit of medical attention for, for Frederick Anderson. He's getting a lot of the puck to get slammed by face. Yarg is still holding it on with under eight minutes to go. Svechikov with the puck. Get a little bumble down in the corner. Now Fox will have it inbound. Kicks the puck. Unable to make the play. Yaris with a shot. And it's a glove, glove saved by Shesterkin. 7.23 to go in the first period. Getting a lot of heavy wooing. Getting inbounding. Igor Shesterkin has always had a good run to take the saves. His butterfly effect was turning to be one slot to another. When he makes a wild save, he keeps it for the offense to put up another run, and then in the offense of the, the timing attack, he will take a save and then try to reach out of here. Rebounded a puck here by Nekis. Now on a two-on-one fast break. Fires it! Hits the face mask to Sturkin! Oh boy! I don't know what to say about this, but there are a lot of like puck right towards the face. That's gonna hurt. Deflecting off a of Skeggy. Skeggy towards the middle. On a one on one attack, and a shot goes wide. Lafaniere gives it over to Kako. He's gonna get another attacker, finds Truba. And Kako back can't save me by Anderson. He's doing really good out there. Please keep him out in that respect. Now both players are set, about to take the face off and the inbounding in the wing. 1-0 is the score in the first period. Trocek wins the face off. Block the shot. Oh, two time stop. And stop again by Anderson. There's one, there's two blocks. I mean, that's a great defense for the Hurricanes to try to deflect the zone. If they have steel, well, <laughs> let's say that the Hurricanes do have steel, they would protect it and try to keep the win here without losing Storm. Anderson will hold a save here and Skeggy rolling back. Schneider over to Trocek. Shot! Had save! Right around the back over to get to Panarin. Panarin over to McCulloch. He now gives it back over to Kane. In the middle, Panarin! Save me by Anderson! There are a lot of passes out in this zone. It's turning out to be great, but it's a great save for Frederick Anderson. First period, a lot of stumble down for Stahl. And Schneider regroups the puck over to Moto. Moto in the way. In the attacking zone, Moto. Moving around in some time. The glove save releases for Anderson. 3.42 left to go in the first period. Still getting a lot of goals for the Rangers. But sometimes, however, you're getting a lot of goals for the Hurricanes. Is it just possible to make that goal in? Well, I have no complaint about that one. It might be tough. But if it's easy, go for it. Block the shot, Dehan in the corner of the wall. Now the Carolina has to recover the puck here. Vizi regroups it. Goddess Fear takes the puck away from Jimmy Vizi. 3.07 to go, Shatsy, right towards the wing. Outside. Goes inside, Jimmy Vizi's pass broken up. Scooping in the center. The open pass won't help. Dion will try to recover it. Now in the wing, still looking for plenty of room on offense. Dion over again to Shatsy. 2.20 to go in the first period. Try to leave the mark. That's save. Goodrow right towards the corner, and he's getting a little bit bruised up already. He says, no worries, I'm not hurt, I'm still okay. And I know, he's out of here. Block locked the shot and burns right towards the other way. He moves around his own. Neck is looking for some help. Zibanejad takes the puck away. Now Miller will try to group their offense into the Kane's territory. Miller. Sweeping his own. That went wide. Zibanejad over in the corner. Takes the Sarasenko. Save me. Zibanejad. From shot. No stop, sir. Anderson makes a save. That's a lot of healthy credit. They're saying they're keeping it out of here. More than ever. Now the teams are ready to be out here on the faceoff. 
Hurricanes have a one nothing lead over the New York Rangers as they have Burns with two blocks. Very well to play on the offense, Ron. Then on the defense. Yep, he's good. Because Burns, burn it down. Here's Nekas. 15 seconds to go in the first period. Slapping the Burns. Fire! Stop here by Savannah Jack. Darren Senko, five seconds left to go in the first. And lost the puck. And that will end the first period with a great score. As right now, Kurt Kevinney has got a goal in the playoffs. 13 in a row. 1-0 is the count. We'll be right back after this. Hey, everyone. Ball around Penn here. As right now, if you're tuning in with this part of the announcements, we got some great announcements for you. We are casting another new season here, as right now, the NHL 24 will be coming soon. So if you have any suggestions here for the team, leave a comment down here below. There might be another way, as we are, might be going for a new, newer matchups in between. No matter if it's the current Canes, the Rangers, the Devils, Flyers, or any Western Conference teams like the Wilds, Jets, Oilers, or any of each teams here, etc., etc. But there is a choice. If you want to, if you want to make the suggestion with the team of the matchup, leave a comment down below. That will be now casting here for the next part of a season in season three of NHL 24. Once again, that will be cast here on NHL 24, and that will be released out soon. If you have that suggestion down, leave a comment box here below and find out which team you want to see them play against for next season on EA Sports. And also, another announcement. We've only had few tickets left to go, so there are no shows available already. There are no tickets available on each show as they are sold out. So if you have that down, make sure you get your tickets now before they're gone. And if you can't make it, well, better luck next year. And there might be another way that you can also definitely watch. You can watch on a live stream here, part of the Q&As here, at one of each shows that will be happening to start on June 25th and the other one will be July 8th. And finally, we have is the deals. The new episode is coming. That is right because the deals happens now on for the next part of the episode on May 25th. So make sure you mark your calendars down. It's going to be another one and at that point in. Hopefully Son of Beast will finish editing the parts, and once it's over, we will get started for the to resume the play after the NBA playoffs, then NBA Finals, and then on the other side, the Conference Finals for the Stanley Cup, and finally, the Stanley Cup Finals. With that one being said, that is all we have, and I hope everybody is enjoying your, your uh, day, and of course, summer is getting close. And don't forget, new episode coming out will be the number 14 on June, before the experience of BFDI in Anime and Sandy. If you enjoy the BFDI TPOT, watch now here on Jack and Jellyby. Calling card is up there, and a reaction also as well. Now back to the game. Mifo, guys, all yours. Period number two, about to begin at Carolina. Buck is dropped and we are underway. We're destroying this matchup. This one is to turn to be a tough call in the first period. Let's have a recap look as Lightbrain will be standing by. Well, in that case of this moment, with that play it is in motion, it's a hard drive to make that in tamed. But more the offense runs, the better this play in offense is done. They really are starting to get overwhelmed to get over with the game because the Hurricanes are very not strong. They're trying to get away from it. And you know that the New York Rangers are trying to battle it out again. They're doing a lot of the pressure on the work. But then since they have this offense, they really are starting to go downwards. Because the Katemi got, got really got a good goal, he really is starting to show it up big and square. Here's press towards the wing, now over to get into the glove. Now pass to Yarvis. Yarvis passes to Skedgy. Sketchy entering the attacking zone. Goes right over. Finds Vaho. Ferdinand score! Ferdinand goes in the playoffs and it's now a 2 0 lead. And assist by Sketchy. That was good. I 
Ray has turned around as right now Yav has given it over to Sketchy. And then Sebastian Ago had that one open man look. The third eye he turned over with the better of this offense and he can make that deliberation to make that one go in. It's very hard keeping it right on a setup line and with that one, they've done great. I'll be watching in between players to keep that one inbounding. Back to you, Nifo. We are now ready for another face-off to be released. Curb Canes extend the series 2-0 over the New York Rangers. And now, it's turn turns down Trocek with the win. Kane right around the man, pass to Trocek. Trocek right toward the middle, bubble down. Sketchy with the puck now over again to Katemi. But Kennedy right into the wing. Turn right on the attack. Stop by Shesterkin with a save. Goes right to the corner of the wall. And Shesterkin will hold it up with only 17.20 to go. We haven't hit the midway mark at this period. Still 2-0 for the Hurricanes. Trocek wins a second time in a faceoff. Now the New York Rangers are on the attack. Benarin dish off to Kane. And stopped by DeHaan. Benarin gives it back. Trying to hear the Kane. Ray released with the save bay by Anderson. And now Kane does it again. Big stop. Kane over to Panarin. Backhander. Rebound again by Anderson. What a save. This really has to be honored to go with one point downward. They're not really a saying, oh, let's go Frederick Anderson. You've got a great hustle. It says, keep the pressure on you. Don't get into it by the other players who get the goal. Just do as you can. You stall right towards the middle and now into the offensive zone, into the neutral zone. Spinning around over Martin Hook. In the corner, Martin Hook. Getting a little bumbled out. In the middle. Oh, Shostokin got a good save. That's hard on that one. They're going to need to say that this is a harder play and you're going to need to keep an eyes on. And right now, if you're tuning in with this part of the next game, we have another one that we are about to be revealing you in game number three. As right now, the Cavaliers are home to play against the Bucks. All right, now in Cleveland. Following along with the next game, as the Sixers and the Celtics are back in Philadelphia for an all rematch. And on the other side, we have the Western Conference as the Lakers are back home to play against the Golden State Warriors at Crypto.com Arena. And finally, also at home, also with the Sharing Stadium Arena, is the Clippers against the Nuggets. These games are coming up after Game 2's are completed. Keep your eyes peeled that there will be more underway soon. I'll be watching in between the range of the pre-game show and in the arena. Martin up right towards the left wing. Miller grabs the puck and rebounded over to Truba. Now go over to Kako. Kako right towards the wing in the center. Back pass to Lafayette. Lafayette and a save by Anderson. Now he moves it over to Slavin again to Stepan. Stepan fires it across. Scooping the puck is Miller. Truba over again to Tarasenko. Tarasenko right towards the right wing. Shoots and fires. That stop again by Anderson. Kicks the puck over to Miller. On the big stop, Pryor. That shot goes wide off the target range. Stepan kicking it over. Aaron Psycho unable to connect the rebound. Nozen's puck is now crossed into the blue line to offense zone. Fires across. Miller with a good steal. Darren Psycho right towards the neutral zone into the wing. Behind the net is Burns. Stepan gives us a shot scene. Shot scene looking for a deep pass to Nozen. Goes the puck around the net. Cleese out of zone and Lindgren will try to regroup it. Boudreau on to the attack. Rushing in to hit Crane's territory. He fires wide. It's not about shooting the right way, but you can't just fire it off. You gotta look at the range first. Because that one, that could be off the target range. Anderson, big save at 11.46 to go. 
And right now they will hold the clock here with 2, 11, 46 remaining. We have not hit the midway period, as now it's still a under before the mid-period range. 2-0, Carolina still up ahead. Slavin right over again to Teravainen. Teravainen right towards the middle. He lost the puck for a second, but he tries to recover it. Neck is up! Stopped by Sesterkin with the defender on him. Big stop! Poked it away right towards the net in the corner of the wall. Third time stop! Wow, Sesterkin getting a little piece of that one. Trying to keep it out of the net for good. Now they're ready to do another faceoff. Still 2-0. Trying to get the Rangers back into the answer to call to get a goal right in it. Trocek wins it. Box right towards the corner, now over to Trocek. He pass to Panarin. Panarin pass to Kane. Get bumbled up. Now right over again is Burns right towards the right wing and now Panarin to Kane. Box right towards the outside, back to Panarin. Over to Kane. Fires blocked the shot by Burns. That blocking shot was a very tough call. That was a great offense to put up defense. Wow, Jarvis went bubbled out. He goes right over with the with the bumper car hockey. He says, that's it, I had enough. I am not getting slammed over by my face that one, that well, and often. Box back to Trocek over to Panarin. Panarin doesn't have the right moment to go in with the in the weed the weave zone. And now it's back to such a cough. Blocked up by Lindgren. Kick the puck over to Kane. Now Lindgren gets it off fired wide without being called in steal. Lavanier right towards the wing. Heading into the center. Back shot. Stop by Anderson. Pass over again to Fats. Fast trying to work his way on the offense to pick up the number one. With the release man. We're stopping saving here by the goaltender. And now Schneider has one. Stahl takes it away. Oh, did not have the right timing. Schneider over on the offensive in, a, in the year. offense territory. Skeggy's got the puck here right across the wall. Stahl bubbled up in the home bench. Regroups it. Try to take it out of here. And Mikula will try to give it over here to give another puck zone to pass to Kako. Seven minutes remaining in the second period. Sure, it's fire stop made by Anderson. Caroline in right toward again. Deep pass to Kakemi. Kakemi right around it. Scores! Two goals in the game of the playoffs in game number two. Extended a 3 an 0 series of the game. That's what everyone's calling for. Kakemi and really ain't gotten to pay attention that longer. Looking for his third goal in the third game. Sorry, second game. And right now it's an extension, 3-0. Got a lot of shout-outs to put up here in each period, but it might be a vessel quiet on their own. Durvinen and Sisterkin will hold it with a save with 2-6-22 remaining. They're getting a lot of force out there to try to answer back. Now their teams are set, right about to face the puck off. Now it's a 3-0 lead over the Rangers. Now Kennedy wins the face off. Pass right towards the outside. Bumbles down. Nekis. Pass to Katemi. Go for number three. It's the fleck it and right towards the wall. Two time stop for Sisterkin. Blocked away. Caroline over it again to Dehan. Dehan over to Dallas Fear. Bumble down. Now Kennedy shot blocked. Here's Terrence Senko. He will have it over into the offense zone. Nekis back to Terravine. Dervainen pass over again to Katemi. Devon recovers the puck in the neutral zone. Nose it over in the right. Katemi going for three. Glove saved by Sesterkin. Got to really stab it up there, there because he was almost going to make a third goal out of it. Nearing the closer to the end of the second period. Three zeros where we sat last. After a goal by Katemi. Chassis to Dijon and with a win. Move around the man and a stop made by Sisterkin.
For those of you who are tuning in for the Anime Insanity Invitational, we'll keep you right here for the next part of it on next month. Before the BFDI and Anime Insanity Experience, that will be episode 14 that will be coming out there very soon in October. We will be back with episode 15, the start for the 2023 after summer is finished. So with that one, if you hope you enjoy watching this part of the BFDI and DBOT experience in between for the Anime Insanity episodes of this year, the last to last two years, and also BFDI, well, you might as well enjoy it too. Yeah, I guess everybody's enjoying it. This was so long at that point. You know one of my best favorite it is? I like episode number number um you know, my favorite episode of it is number nine, for sure. You sure about that? Well, I guess it would be. I mean, it would be a clash, like an action figure to go with that one. Well, if, if there's one way that we can call for an action skating on the defenseman with the collision, we might be finding out. Do you think that will be okay? Well, yeah, typically, yeah. I have to go with that answer, so it might be the only thing. Here's Fox the King, so big by Anderson. He denies it and now slamming over to Svechikov. He's right toward the right wing. Svechikov the Yarvis. He shoots him wide. Rebound scores! Yarvis puts the rebound and now he extends it 4 0 in the second period. When Yarvis has that rebounding in puck, that transition puts it in offense on the goal. He's way out way big. When Yavis goes with that one, he sneaks and attack it. He says, let me have it. And this one's a helping saving of this offense rebound. They try to trick the goalie. Save me, Vice Storkin. Oh, big stop. Lindgren over again, again to Lafreniere. Just passing 90 seconds left in the second period. Now in the right wing, here we come. Kako! Stop A by, by Anderson. Ajo towards the corner of the wall. Now over again to Fox. Fox passed to Lafreniere. Passing a minute to play in the second period. And Hedo right over again. Lafreniere shot. Stop A by Anderson. Anderson's going over it. Fans are going crazy. Because if this happens, they really are starting to go over it. Bumbles for the quarter. Under 30 seconds left, Fox to Hedo. Trying to move it over back to Kako. 15 seconds left remaining in second period. Hedo again, stop again. Rebound scores. They're now in the board. And Hedo says, the wait is over. Now they're on the board. Well, there it goes. Yep, Hedo just fix it off. Rangers are coming back down to Sterling by three. 8.6 seconds left. And now here's Lindgren. He will try to close it up with the second period to Goodrow. Fires and saves. Moto has to Goodrow and off the clear ice. That ends the second period. They're coming down towards its way. Good rebound for Hino. Four wants to score. Third period. Underway next. This is where we come down to the final period in game two. Well, we're about to be ready to get into the game to finish off strong. Here's Tarasenko. Open the air. Rebound here by Burns. And now back to your way. Here comes the Hurricanes. The one thing I have to talk about this is what they are doing the best. Cut Kennedy's got two goals. If he get, makes his third goal, he would definitely have it right away. And that's his first goal for Stachikov. 31 goals in the playoffs. This turns out after a rainy season and a postseason. A terrific start for the Hurricanes in the third period. They always get away because they really wanted to do it. Ajo wins the faceoff. Slavin up again. Oh boy. Oh, that six save me for the pad by Shusterkin. Now here's Burns, right over to Slavin, up again to Ajo. Ajo tries again, will on the offense, over to get to Fox. Fox moves over to Zarenchenko. Over to Zibanejad. Zibanejad rolling it in, Kreider shot! Stop by Anderson with a save. 18-21 remaining in the third period, a 5-1 extension. 
Now the players are set, ready to take the face off into the offensive wing. Hurricanes wins the face off. Burns will try to tackle it over again back to Slavin. Svenchikov has one into the corner. Now in the zone and save made by Sturkin. Svenchikov up in the air right through the glass. I'll go back to Svenchikov with a shot. Stop made by Sturkin. Over to Fox now again. He tries to look for an open pass on the direct offense. Lost the puck. Now Svechikov, swing it again. Rebound up here by Fox, over to get to Zibanejad. Zibanejad over to get to Kreider. Kreider on the shot, stopped by Anderson with the save. They're like keeping it going. They're really like impressed. They've done a great work out there. Keeping it going. Now the next one coming in for the faceoff. It's now a five and one lead over the Rangers. Gokenemy wins the faceoff. Now he will dish it over to Skeggy. Skeggy trying to roll out on offense to try to pick up another run. Finds Nekis. Hurricanes into the Rangers territory. The attacker, Kakademi! Third time goal, no being the pain from here as the Sturkin keeps it out. Trocek right towards the back. Here's the back for Panarin and blocked away. Skeggy. Turbine recovers the puck, and now Skeggy will try to deliver it over. 2 on one it's opportunity. Fox takes the puck away. Passes to Kane, over on the, off on the offside of the Oh, uh, Went down very hard. Skeggy over again to Pess. Pess tried a little over again to Kalkenemy. Over to Nekis. Nekis bumbles down. Panarin. Doing it again, right for the offense, Trocek. Trocek gets bumped up. Trocek recovers the puck over to Kako. Kapo Kako lost the puck. Teravine in, regroups the puck here, right to the offense zone. In the center, Truba takes it away. Lafayette over into the offensive attack. Try to ram it over. Teravine in, blocked it out, but it's a close save for Sisterkin. Easy on this play because they were really sure enough because if he lost that glove, he could have been able to make it one as a save. But in that case, they're trying to get over this. Kako scores! They're now back down by three as right now Kapo Kako got his sixth goal in the playoffs. They're coming back down. Kapo Kako really was sewing it up like he was doing it better with a smitch on the move. He got a great look at in between the eye zone. The ability range might be tough, but in that case, they really are starting to pick up the run. All it does happen now to get a win. And scores! Marnock with the seventh goal of the playoffs. They are racing up and getting away from the Rangers to close it up. And Chesper Fast got a pass away. It's very clear that Marnock's got a great eye. What a good pass -up passover in between. He is like a star. Because of this one, it was not very that palantic because everyone was going right to the offensive zone. But in that case, they really are starting to go big here. Really showing up like they were up to and ready. I'll be watching the player to keep an eye on the, on the target. Back to you guys. Martin Luke right towards the center. Now fast in the center. Regroup the Botches circuit save. Stopping a whistle inbound for 1247 to go in the third period. Now they're ready for the faceoff. The Sisterkin couldn't make that save as now the Sisterkin team are trying to answer back. 6 and 2 still lefts off behind. Now here's Zibanejad. Zibanejad gets bumped up. Dion over to Gardasphere. Gardasphere right towards the offense zone, picking up the run. Academy right towards the corner. Truba recovers the puck here now with 12 minutes going by in the third period. Zibanejad fires around the net. Scoop up along the board by Dehan. Dehan to Martinuk. Martinuk still looking over with the offense run to pick up the right. Kreider in his own rebound. No, went, went right behind the net and it went out. Yeah, well, this is very right that close. I don't know what to say. If this is offense range to try to keep it out, 
They are fasting it up. They're lighting it up. They're really up to a better angle. That nice. Darren Psycho towards the corner of the wall. And Burns takes it away. Ajo right towards the center of the neutral zone. Fires a shot. That's stopped made by Shesterkin. Rangers are back into the offense zone in the Canes territory. Fires away. Blocked by Burns. Allen for the loose buck. Kreider recovers it. Back to Lindgren. Lindgren to Truba. Fires away. An innocent save. Under 10, 10 minutes to go in the third, it's a 6-2 lead. With that one answer, we have a winner. Sebastian Alho has given a third eye of his ability. He's doing really well on the offense to pick up that one. And for this time, they are really are starting to go underneath the center of the, of the game. Sebastian Alho is really well performed to be the best player for the 2022-23 season. Here's Goodrow right towards it, around the net. Here's Burns, passes such a guy, passes Slavin on the end. Over now to Yarvis. Yarvis goes down. Goodrow over again to Fox, now into the zone is Modi. Modi firing around the net. Slavin goes down. Terabinian recovers the puck here, right towards the offense zone. In the wing, Terravine. Can't find the man opener, but finds Nekis right around him. Club save. He holds the puck here with just only 8-12 to go. Just Sturkey getting a little bit tired out here. And maybe because of right now he got a little crushed by the by the players that he was already gotten gotten away with with the puck save and had that goal. A lot of breakdowns coming in for the shots for around to Sturkey, and he got a little bumbled up. But not for Frederick Anderson. He's really well into this mode. He is perfect. And Aaron over to Fox. Now in the right wing. Fires it wide. And Trocek comes in to save it. And Aaron right towards the wing to Kane. Pass it. Rebound and save. And Aaron to the corner. Pass. He gives it off to Karkenemy. Kennedy right towards again to Nekis. Nekis to Terravine. Round the man on Fox. Try to battle for the loose puck on the board, but carries away, now back to Pets. And Aaron gets the puck now over again to Kane. 6.45 left to remain in the third. Oh, to Ben Aaron, move around, and he says no! Over to Kane, D9 again! Kane. Does it again. Ben Aaron over in the wing. Now the Fox. Fox to Ben Aaron. Over to Kane. Back to Fox. Fox goes right around it with broken pass. Broken plays, they're not easy to maintain. Nekis around the circle. Oh, he could have made that goal in there, but he still got tied up with Shesterkin to get that block shot. Now they're still ready to make the face off even more. It is a 6-2 lead for the Hurricanes. Stahl wins the faceoff. Skeji lost the puck here and now go off the center of the ice. Now getting away is Fox. Here's Pest over to Fats. Fats on a breakaway. Angle down! Hito right over into the offensive wing to Truba. Now in Lafayette. He gives it over to Truba. Right around the defender, trying to pass to Kako, and he was blocked up and right towards the wall. Mark Stahl into the wing. Shoots one! Fires it across, and a save made comes up by Shesterkin. They always gotta hold it up from here, because Shesterkin really is saving it easy. Tuning us here for the next game, as you will keep your eyes steady, as the Avalanche are playing against the Seattle, as the Wilds are playing against the Kraken of Seattle. Now they're back here at XL Energy Center, so it's coming up later tonight at 9.30 p.m. Make sure you watch it down here on Center Beasts. If you don't, somebody will. Terrence Senko, to the way, over to Zabanachad. Shot, it fucking off the goaltender, now to Terrence Senko. 
Terrence Senko pass to Zibanejad. It's stopped made by, Z by Anderson. Knows it right over again to Slavin. Slavin over again to Stepan. Stepan over right to Burns. Burns trying to pass it to Stahl. Over to Stepan. Stepan trying to look over the offense Ryan Bumbles out. Now Milo will swing it across to Zibanejad. 2.30 left to go in the third period. Here's Slavin right towards around the net, and now we'll take the wing for the offense. Kreider, bounce off, Tarasenko. Recovers the puck into the wing, finds Miller. Trubo recovers it. Shot goes tip wide. Went on target run. They're all over the place. Their rankings are trying to mess up the storm, they're trying to blind them. Shots name, fires it around the net. Trouba again, pass to Kreider. Rangers are going right into a devastation run with a 2-0 loss in Carolina. And just one minute left to third period. Here's Fox right toward the neutral faceoff zone, pass to the offense zone. Goodrow, pass to VZ. Moto, shot, denied the goaltender. What a big stop here by Anderson. Slavin to Burns. Fans are on their feet. Here's Svechikov. Trying to go with the goaltender. Beat him across. We'll have some more time right now. And now Fox right over again to pass it over to Mota. Mota over to Fox over to Miller. Just final possession for the Rangers. To good roll. Pass save. And Svechikov, the fans are showing wild and pride. Mole, Robin, save me! Yarvis with the putt, and their team is going to win it. 62 is your score. They extend it by 2-0. What an excellent run. Frederick Anderson is the best goaltender of the season. The postseason, always remember him. It has been a fantastic and enjoyable to watch. And with the celebration, they now make that one over to greet the crowd and bump towards it to make an excellent win. What an exciting matchup for the Hurricanes and the Rangers. It has been outstanding right now. Me phone along with Life Ring and Silver Spoon. This has been a presentation of a Stanley Cup playoffs for the double pedal. Thanks for watching and have a great night. All right, we found thank you very much. Hurricanes battle out to win against the New York Rangers. They've done a great offense run to try to pick up their strength. They are the best team in the Metropolitan Division. Always known, the better showdown it does, they get it to win it. 62 is your final score. Big send 2 Time for three star players of the game. The third star goes out right towards with a better play in offense motion. Sup Yarvis with a goal and two assists. Only did turn out with a rebound and said thank you very much. The second star on the other hand goes out to over Jess Perry cut Kenemy. Two goals and a, a hit would have gotten a hat trick, but two is the best number to be. And your number one star, Frederick Anderson. Another believable run to make the one-star game. 47 saves is the best one to be. Here's how they did with the total statistics. 18 hits between Nevers and in, in, in the Nevers see Nevers teams, Rangers and Carolina. 51 shots on goal for Carolina and 49 for New York Rangers. 619 and 551 was the time on attack. 93 percentage and 90 percentage right towards with the passing zone of the New York Rangers and Carolina. Then faceoff wins was 23 for Carolina and 18 for the New York Rangers. And there are no penalty minutes and power plays. Since they're both clean, they don't need one. Well, that's it for the first game. And if you're tuning us for the second game, it's the Avalanche and the Wilds at Minnesota. That will be happening with the next game coming later tonight. As the commentary standing by will be OJ, Paintbrush, and along with the center ice, we have this ball round pen. So as we're being right now, thanks for watching. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on the A-Sports style. 
We'll be back with this one later. As for the next game in Game 3 for the New York Rangers at the Garden, once Game 2s are completed. Thanks for joining with us, and see you next time. Good night in Carolina with the hurricane win and the victory storm and the New York Rangers of the Big Apple with the disappointing loss. Until next time, folks. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.